is Tom Lemaire. I'm going to show you this morning a quick way we uh, use for milling circles. We actually come in and do a helical ramp to machine a circle out. It works very good in aluminum and also hardened materials. Um, we're going to start off by going into pot programming. And I'm going to program the circle uh, using milling lines and arcs. And what I want to do is I want to make this so I can use this block and change the radius a lot. So I'm going to leave the X start blank and I'm going to use the Y start as zero. I'm going to start 50 thousandths above and I'm going to Z bottom to zero. My actual depth of my circle is going to be controlled by how far I go down on my helix. I'm going to pick a tool number, tool number 12 which is a quarter inch end mill and I'm going to offset it to the left with no lead in move. And my speeds and feeds come up, my plunge feed comes up and I'm ready to go. I'm going to go to my next segment and I'm going to tell it to mill a helix and I'm going to go counterclockwise. My X end I'm going to leave blank. My Y end I'm going to leave at zero and my Z end, say if I'm going to go through a three quarter inch plate, I may go down to negative point eight. And I'm going to give it zero zero as my center. And the reason being is because I'm going to put a pattern block and locate this in different sections on a, a plate. So if I leave it at zero, the first one's going to be at zero, and then I can locate it with my pattern block. I'm going to give this radius, um, uh, if I want to do a, a, I think I'm going to do a half inch, so I'm going to give it a quarter inch radius. When I did that, it calculated my start point, it says CAL, and it also calculated my end point. And it gave me a sweep angle of 360 degrees. I'm going to come down to the lead now, and I'm going to make that, you know, in this case, I think I may make it uh, minus 0.025. And it will actually calculate my revolutions it needs to go to make the circle. And if I hit draw, it actually draws out the graphics for me. And this is, you know, a really efficient way. The tool lasts a long time. You can tweak your radius and actually dial those things in so it comes up with a very accurate circle. And it's not putting a lot of stress on the end mill. You can see my circle in there because it's not plunging. Now I'm going to take that circle. I, sometimes I, I do, if I'm doing a bottom pocket, if I'm not going through, I'll do another helix and I'll just <clears throat> tell it to sweep 360 degrees and that will do a cleanup uh, pass along the bottom. And I give it, and, and so now if I, if I want to take this block and save it, the only data I have to change is in my segment number one, I, all I have to do is change my radius and that will actually allow me to use it if I want to use a three-quarter inch or seven-eighths, whatever I want to do. And so the reason I left the variable on my X end and my X start is so I could do that. Next I'm going to insert a block before and tell it to do patterns, pattern locations, and I'm going to do one at negative five and four inches. Next one's going to be at five and four inches. Next one's going to be at five and negative four inches and the next one's going to be at negative five and then I go over here and I give it a pattern end and now I have it located in different spots in my plate and it gives you really good tool life it's very efficient to cut like that um, and if you're using harder metals you can control your depth per revolution and it actually is a very efficient way of cutting a nice circle. So, the other thing that you can do on the patterns, you can, if you have the DXF option, you can, with the new DXF option. The cleanup pass is going around the outside. Oh, there you go. That's because I probably have my cleanup pass going the wrong direction. Very good. I had to go clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So that. That's better. So as I was, as I was saying, with the new DXF option, uh, you can actually pick holes and make a pattern location block out of the holes. Well, there we go. Thank you.